Providence Country Day School and Henry Barnard School are merging. So to find out what this means for teachers, parents, and students alike, we are welcoming Kevin Folan, head of schools at PCD, and Madeline Esch, a parent of a student at Henry Barnard School, to chat all about this exciting news. Good morning. Good morning, Brendan. Thank you so much for having us. You bet. Great to have you both here, Madeline. We shall get to you in a moment. But Kevin, first of all here, let's chat about the fact that the schools are merging and really what this means for teachers and administration and really how the philosophies align. Sure, yeah, that's a great question. I think first and foremost, I really hope there's just a great sense of relief. I mean, this 122-year-old institution uh, is going to continue. So Henry Barnard School is open for business. We are actively enrolling students and families. So I think that, that's the major headline. In terms of alignment, th there's a lot of alignment, and I think this is one of the things we're most excited about. Currently enrolled at PCD, we have 13 Henry Barnard alumni, and we've also learned that over the last 20 years, we've had 50 Henry Barnard alumni come through PCD and graduate. So we know what that finished Henry Barnard product looks like from a mission, from a value standpoint, there is so much alignment and there is no doubt in my mind that this transition is going to be seamless. Yeah, if it's positive, it's all about the kids, their education, that's a wonderful thing. So Madeline, for you, as the parent of a kindergarten student, let's talk about how these new changes will affect you, your child, and your family, really. Yeah, well first, as Kevin said, it's just such a relief that we get to stay at the school that we loved. Uh, my son did two years in the preschool there and we had such a great foundational experience. And so to know that that is secure and we get to keep that going forward, not just for elementary school, but potentially all the way through high school, being part of this community that, that's growing together. Yes, so exciting. that change can be very difficult for students. So the fact that they can maintain that consistency at, at a young age is a great thing. And Kevin, as you sort of alluded to, this merger gives the students that sense of continuity and you know, kindergarten through grade 12, really preparing them for the future in a, in a sustained way, so to speak. Yeah, that's a great point. So right now at PCD, we have a middle school and an upper school. So we get to play a big role in the formation of these students as they get ready to launch into college. Now we have the chance to play a, cr a critical role in their life from the time they first learn to read and write and add and subtract. And I can't tell you how exciting that is. Yeah, that is so great that they can maintain that consistent foundation, so to speak, which is wonderful. And Henry Barnard classes, small, hands-on, dynamic, you know, with that personalized attention. Madeline, let's talk about what that experience has been like for your child. That's so true. It's been great. The classes are really small, and so the teachers definitely know each student, and the students get to form relationships with their classmates. And the teachers are so so great at you know, tailoring everything they do to the particular kids that are in the class, like not just the level that they're at, but how they learn best, whether that's through movement and dancing or stories or hands-on projects. Um, they're always doing hands-on things. Last week they were gardening and then they were drawing pictures of the plants and their root systems. And so it's this really like integrated way to learn. And for us, the thing that's been most amazing is how that's carried over into their specials courses that they take, like things in Spanish, music, technology education. Uh, so in Spanish, they might be singing and in technology education, uh, drawing pictures of the machines that they just built. So it's all just this really holistic way to learn. Um, it's, it's been really exciting for us. Yeah, it's terrific. And lastly here, Kevin, you know, with everything that's been going on, everything we've all been through collectively with regard to the pandemic, let's talk about what changes you've put in place for learning. Well, I think Madeline would, would certainly agree with me. I mean, Henry Barnard and PCD, we've both been really committed to learning in person this year. Even though I know that at different points we've had to rely on virtual learning, we believe that kids learn best in person, helping students and teachers foster that face-to-face -face connection. We are hoping that come September, we are going to be back to you know full-time in-person learning across the state and across the country, but, but we're certainly gonna be prepared for a number of different scenarios. Well, we all I have think the biggest piece that we're excited for is just making a great education accessible and affordable for families, which is exactly what we are doing with this merger. Absolutely, and that's what it's all about, you know, so the kids can have that great, you know, unparalleled learning experience, and we have our fingers crossed that we can get back to that in-person and learning. Uh, Madeline, Kevin, great to have you with us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having Thank you. us. It's a pleasure. If you guys out there would like more information about enrollment, you can visit roadshow.com.